Now, combating plastic pollution has been the concern of climate change advocates. This time around, the printing, packaging, plastics and agro-processing industries in Nigeria and West Africa has decided to play a part in managing post-consumption waste and ensuring environmental sustainability in the region. Our correspondent Mercy Frank was at the opening session ProPAC West Africa 2019 where these issues were discussed in our report. These are representatives from different packaging, plastics, food processing and print experts who have come together to exchange ideas and introduce the latest trend in the industry. It gets interesting as the focus moves to environmental sustainability and the importance of reducing the impact of post-consumption waste in Nigeria. Feedback from our participants also indicate that ProPAC is a prime avenue for industry stakeholders to deepen their knowledge about global trends and new advancements in the manufacturing industry. A recent report says that 30% of our exports to the US is rejected as a result of poor packaging and labeling. I think there is a need for collaboration. Collaboration between producers who produce, who do, who these bottles, who, who produces this bottle or the, this um, packaging materials. Please, we need to maybe work with the um, the, end, um, the people that do recycling. How can so that we can able to get these things out of the environment as soon as they are deposited by the consumers? The event moves from conference to exhibition. Participants agree that Nigeria is a huge market, and for the industry to grow, there should be a review of the current national standards and policies. Packaging is going to grow. Nigeria is going to be self-sufficient on food. There will be no food import in the next five years, and it requires good packaging. The trend today is that Nigeria is losing jobs to China. We are losing jobs to India. We are losing jobs to Dubai and even to Europe. Okay. Reason being that the cost of production here remains high. It is hoped that this gathering results in the achievement of UN Sustainable Development's goal as everyone is challenged to play a part in controlling waste generation through reduction, recycling and reuse. Mercy Frank, STV News.